tonight for a date. It's our anniversary. How many years are we married? 15. He knew I was going to ask that. Um, 15 years, and we're going to Boone to go out to eat, and we are going to go pick our anniversary gifts. We started this tradition like four or three or four years ago. Um, where we go together and we just pick out something that both of us would like. Well, he picks what he would like and I pick what I would like. Um, so you said you wanted to try to go to Mass General to find something there. Do you have any ideas? No, but that's one of the stores when you go in. There's a lot of things that you would love to buy, but you just don't feel right about spending money on it. <laughs> that's <laughs> so true. It's a nice place to go with some money to spend. It's, it's extra guilt-free. Yeah, and they have a lot of different, like, selection, too, for things. Anyway, um, so we're going to do that, and we're going to go eat at this store. What was the name of it? Eleven? Eleven Day. Eleven, Eleven Eighty Eatery in Boone. It's, it's in the mall, the Boone Mall. I've been there a few times, and I loved it everything that I've gotten every time I've gone. It's got um, like a really cool atmosphere and the food's delicious. Um, the service is good so we're gonna eat there and then we'll probably stop and look at some jewelry stores in the mall because I would like to get a gold wedding ring kind of thing. Um, that'll be my gift for this anniversary and what else are we gonna do? Just We may only have time to do those things. Oh maybe we'll go do a little shopping in the mall, some other stores, just to kind of look around and see what they have, but I don't know how much time we're going to have, so. It's a new babysitter, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we actually have a couple girls from church that are in our, like, C Students Youth Group that are watching the boys tonight. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. We had one other person from C Students watch the boys, and they did great, and the boys really liked them. And um, this is the first time we've had two of the girls over together because they're good friends, so we'll see how that goes. I feel like I need to move this camera this way so it cuts, it's cutting you off <laughs> in a weird way. <laughs> anyway, that's our plans for our 15 year anniversary. <laughs> Actually, I like all three. I don't know. I've never seen that brand before, but I really like it. What is this? Oh, Cole? 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 How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Okay. Um, and you got some sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, I picked up some sunglasses and some sunglasses. Glasses over there. Okay. Once again, that's what I wouldn't buy by myself. Bison sausage flatbread. Bison sausage. Which I thought was an appetizer. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we order these as appetizers, but they're like males, so we'll eat them. Yep. Yours is as good as mine. Is it? Yep. Are you going to let me have a piece of yours? You wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the truffle mushroom ravioli. I think that's what they said. <clears throat> and you got shrimp and grits. Wait, what was it called? It was, um, Something special about it. What was it? Bacon? Yeah, it's bacon something, shrimp. Something shrimp and grits. I can't remember. It looks really good though. Good wine. Good pizza. Good food. Good beer. <laughs> oh, good company. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your beer? It's called the local High Country. Yeah. High Country High Honey. Country. Yeah. Yeah. So must be good here. Hey guys, so it's um, Friday and I totally forgot to follow up last night on my and Dean's anniversary date. I filmed some stuff with us doing a little bit of shopping in the store, um, but I forgot to share any more because we just got caught up in shopping and then it was super dark when we were heading home and I couldn't film in the car then so anyway we had a good time though it was nice we went like I said um, to eat at the 1180 eatery and it was delicious food um, we both got our little anniversary presents I did want to get a ring um, I was looking for like a gold anniversary ring and because mine are platinum so they're silver and sometimes when I wear gold jewelry I would like to have a gold ring to match but I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on like another ring I just wanted something a little bit more affordable um, but we had a hard time finding something that I liked for the price we were looking for um, yeah that was like real gold real diamonds that kind of thing so anyway I'll just have to keep looking for that so I ended up getting a bag I needed a brown purse because I haven't had one in forever. I just have had a black purse. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. Um, today is Friday and I'm headed back to Johnson City to go shopping with a friend from church. We're buying stuff to decorate our new like youth group space. Um, and so we're looking for like tables, throw pillows, wall decor. I'm trying to think what else, like cleaning supplies, trash cans, just all sorts of stuff. So she and I are going to like TJ Maxx and Ross, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, just places like that, um, to do all of this shopping today. We'll probably get some lunch together. Um, and Dina's home with the boys. He's doing school with them today. <laughs> so I've left him a list of the things that he needs to do. They have their list for the things they need to do. We'll see how it goes. I said if you get overwhelmed or stressed with all of this stuff, just don't worry about it. When I get home, I'll do it. We'll do some school tomorrow on Saturday, which we never do school on Saturday. Um, but yesterday we had like a short school day just because Dee and I were going out on our date. And then today I've gotta be gone this morning shopping. Um, so our school week has just been weird this week, but that's the good thing about homeschooling is you can make the schedule fit you and what you need. Um, yeah, so I'm just actually going to run in here to Dollar General really quickly and buy an umbrella because it's pouring rain out here. Like my hair is already wet from just running to the car and, um, I don't have an umbrella in the car. I don't, I did have one, but I don't know where it's at now. Somebody took it out. Maybe I took it out and didn't put it back in. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go in and get an umbrella so that I'm not going to be drenched today. And, um, yeah, and I'll show you guys my purse. Okay, so here's my purse. It's from Patricia Nash. It has this like bronze class kind of thing, the way it closes. Just kind of hook that over there and then close it. Um, it's all leather. It's got a pocket back here, little short straps. Uh, it's kind of suede inside. It feels really good. A pocket on this side, two pockets on this side, one for your phone, one for your glasses, and then it's really deep. I love like, not massive purses, but larger size purses so that I have plenty of room for all my stuff. It's got rain on it right now because like I said, it's pouring rain and I ran out and it's very wet. And I have some shoes to take back to the store today while I'm out and just some different things that I need to pick up. So anyway, really happy with this. 
So today I am outside mid-morning and I'm giving my lavender bushes a haircut. You can see the stems are sticking way up off the bush. This is one I've already done. So you can see how I've kind of cut it into like a rounded dome sort of looking shape. So I'm doing that for all of these and this will stimulate more growth into the plant and make it bushier. Um, and then I should get a second cutting later on this summer off of these if I trim them now. But when you trim lavender plants, you want to trim them mid-morning after the dew has dried but before the hottest part of the day because they'll lose too many of their volatile oils and then the flowers and the leaves won't smell as good. Hey guys, so thanks so much for watching this weekly video. I think I'm going to wrap things up right here. I finished harvesting all my lavender and getting my bushes pruned and I put the lavender to use um, in four different little ways. I'm gonna do an Instagram reel showing you how to use the lavender, um, the fresh lavender that I harvested. Um, I'll put that link whenever I get that reel put up. I'll get that link in the description box below so you guys can check that out because um, it's really versatile and I think it's one of those ways to use lavender that everybody could just use their practical kind of uses in their life. Anyway, um, the sky is clearing up. We've had a lot of rain lately, but we're supposed to have some nice sunny weather coming up later like this afternoon and this week. And if you can see all of the white clover in my yard, um, it's because the grass has grown a lot because of all the rain. So because the sky is clearing up, I think that I'm not going to get any more rain today. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here and get some mowing done because I haven't been able to do it this week. And yeah, I just, I really need to mow. Plus I love mowing. I'm going to put my headphones on and I'm going to listen to an audiobook. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to listen to. I've been listening to... Oh, let's see, Clan Lands. That's one book that I've been listening to. I've been listening to my Song of Fire and Ice series, which is the Game of Thrones series of books. Um, and I just finished up a couple of audiobooks, so I may get another like quick short listen book. Um, recently, I heard about the Jane Austen Diet, which sounds like a book that I would enjoy, so I may get that and listen to it while I mow today. Who knows, we'll see. I'm gonna have some lunch and then we'll see what I get into. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining joining us in this weekly vlog, um, going along with Dean and I on our anniversary trip. And um, gosh, what else did I get into? I can't even remember at this point what all I got into this week. This week has been a really busy week and next week is gearing up to be a busy one as well. It's the week before Father's Day. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you have any questions or comments about anything that you saw in this week's vlog, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I will most certainly get back to you. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with what's going on in our lives and the ways that I use herbs and natural living and all kinds of things like that. So um, yeah, so definitely subscribe and be sure you click the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye.